I suggest you get my grip. Yeah, it's a, it's a moving in party, but we, it, we've ima managed to amalgamate a number of events, one of which is Lena Lovitch's opening Studio 54, the first live performance there, and we were moving at the same time. Lena needed a warm-up gig, so we thought we'd have a play at the party, and it's really successful. Well, it's pretty important, the presence of Lena in the studio, because it's the first time that something really progressive and uh, up to our times is happening in studio. We know that in the past Chuck Berry and James Brown made some fantastic shows there. But they are, let's say, more identified with some times ago, while Lena is something that's happening here and now. Good evening. Welcome to Modern Classic Events at Studio 54. This is Rudolph, by the way. I'm Jim Verratt. From the very beginning, the first choice was an artist that we had seen two years ago when she came to America and played her on the Mud Club, Lena Lovett. We thought that she best symbolized the kind of performer that was the performer that in a club like Studio 54 would be an experience for you. The same way when you come inside, we wanted the performer here to give you what you give to the place. So we can't think of a better person to have here on this our first Wednesday. We want to play Studio 54 because we're very impressed with the idea that this trend-setting disco is going to start to promote live shows. They've made a deliberate effort to encourage live music and we want to support this. Also, there's the opportunity to film the show. I mean, <laughs> TV is a very personal media and we're going to be able to invade people's homes. And I like that idea. I mean, people are going to be able to see us as we really are. Most people, in order to get anywhere in this music business, have got to water down their ideas a lot. And you've got to become very middle of the road so that the general public feel comfortable enough to go out and buy your records. But that just wouldn't work with us. So far, I think we've managed to keep our personal identity and it's very important to us. We've now got this great opportunity to communicate with a lot of people without having to compromise at all. I think doing this film is going to help people understand us. I think photos can be very misleading and I think some people are put off by the way we look. But I want people to know that it's not a gimmick, it's just our own personal style. And I'm very concerned with personal freedom. I think looking the way you want to look is a very small freedom that you should enjoy if you have the opportunity. I just feel I want to be creative in everything I do. But I want people to understand that we're real. And I want them to know that our music means something to us. Uh, it's our whole life. We're very independent and we want to survive. I think it's important to try and create without compromise because that's the only way to progress. And I'm not interested in being a top ten artist if it means being a clone of the next one. I want to be myself. I think there are a lot of individuals out there who would enjoy what we do and have some affinity with it. But they won't unless we can get through to them. And that's why we're doing the show. What does Lena mean to the American market? Well, Elena, I think, has got, when she first, the first album got a lot of airplay here. And uh, she became a bit of a favourite, and certainly her live tour you know, was a, a big event when she toured. She's only toured in this country once, and all the dates were sold out, so she's a very sort of special artist. I think people really think of Elena as a special artist. She doesn't, doesn't go the normal rock and roll route. <laughs> 